Hello YouTube and welcome to the next Tax Laws video with a brand new OnePlus One smartphone. So after we did the unboxing, let's start with the setup. First of all, here is the SIM card tray opener. So we take it. The SIM card tray is located on the left side of the phone. We open it up. And then uh, downside, so we take our micro SIM card, put it into the SIM card tray and slide it back into the phone. There we go. And then press and hold the on off button on the right side. So let's see, it vibrated. And we can already see the OnePlus logo and of course the powered by Android logo. Yes, there's still Android running on your CM smartphone. And uh, OnePlus just released uh, uh, the vanilla 4.4.4 version for the OnePlus One smartphone. So if you don't like the CM mod, then no problem. You can download the official uh, vanilla Android 4.4 version and get vanilla Android without CM on the OnePlus One. So welcome to CM. To get started setting up your phone, select your language and continue. English, United States, yes, why not? Google account. Do you want to set up a Google account? Set up a Google account? Yes, please. So now, normal Android stuff. I log in with my Google account. Yes, I already have one. So, no. First step, I have to... Let's see if this won't work. Now I have forgot an internet connection uh, via my SIM card. Let's do this again. Do you have a SIM, uh, Google account? Yes. And now, this is really nice, uh, now it's taking my data connection, my normal SIM card uh, data con mobile connection here. I'm not connected to the Wi-Fi network and I can now sign in with my normal uh, Google account. And if uh, I have done the settings right, this one should automatically get my Wi-Fi settings on the new device. So now I log in and there we go. Backup, backup and restore, location services, communications. No, I don't want to get any Google Play newsletters. Set up payment informations. Uh, not now, thank you. And now it's starting restoring. Your phone is contacting Google to restore your account. This can take a while. So and now it should get my Wi-Fi setup password uh, directly from my Google account and hook it up to my uh, Wi-Fi network at home. Now, there's something new here. Set up your CM account. If you have a CM account for more mods and stuff, then enter it, but I now will skip this part. And now, there's something different from the normal Android setup process here. We can enable secure SMS. SMS conversations with other using secure SMS on CM will be automatically encrypted. Should be nice, but uh, no thank you, it's not now. Use on-screen keys, off. So, we got here a sensor bar beneath the screen and there are two button, uh, three buttons, home button, back, back button and the menu button. But if I want to use a normal Google like uh, layout, like on the Nexus, then it will take a part of my screen and give me these on-screen buttons. But in my case, I like the, uh, of course, if there are sensor bars uh, beneath the screen, I will use them and have more space on my screen here. Use CN mod themes on off. No, I will get just take the normal Android Google stuff here. Next step, mm, date and time settings. No, I'm here still in Germany. So let's see, Amsterdam, Berlin. Yes, please. And next step, and there it is. I never have entered my Wi-Fi settings here and I'm already connected and with my Wi-Fi at home. This is nice, so this works great. Uh, via your Google account. Congratulations, setup is complete. If you don't like this, then uh, if you don't have uh, saved your Wi-Fi uh, password on your Google account, then you have to put it in yourself. Choose your Wi-Fi and then enter your password. Welcome, make yourself at home. Yes, thank you guys, thank you, thank you, thank you. So, and there we are. Before it starts to downloading all the apps, let's figure out how much free storage I got on my phone. I got the 46 gigabyte versions, total space 45.87 gigabytes, 
uh, still available for the uh, 54 gigabytes. So 10 gigabytes are left because left out because of the um, uh, operating systems, because of Android, and of course because of the calculating differences between bits and bytes. Uh, so still 40. Uh, 54 gigabytes should be sufficient for enough people out there so don't get mad because of the missing SD card slot so this is it uh, let's head back and figure out about phone and we got Android version 4.4.4.2 KitKat of course I've already mentioned there should be already a 4.4.2 update out there and if you don't want the CM mod uh, CM, uh, you can get vanilla Android 4.4.4 for the device on the OnePlus side. They have already provided this one. So let's see, we are back here. What else? Let's see, two finger swipe down, one finger swipe down and we are getting a quick menu. This is nice, normal. And then what else do we see here? This pr pretty much looks normal. But personalization, we get a lot, a lot of stuff we can do here. Themes, lock screen and all the stuff. And you can really do a lot of stuff with your, with the CM on the device. Interfaces and all the stuff. This is really, really nice here. Uh, lock screen. Yes, 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 yes. And there's the sensor bar buttons and they're a little, uh, yes, I guess. There's little, yeah, they are definitely lighted so that you could see them in the dark. Let's see, yes, they are glowing a little bit, not much. But what else do we got here? Much of the stuff looks normal to me. Ah, there we got also the home button, menu button. You can personalize them. This is nice. Let's see what they do. Home button, of course. Press the home button and we get, okay, Google now. This is okay. Yes, let me in. Google now. This should work. Then we got the back button. Keeping pushing the back button. Nothing happens. And we got this menu button here for wallpapers, widgets, default screen and all the stuff. Yes, and if you keep pushing the menu button, then we go to our app switch menu. This is normal, I guess. I would have preferred the back button on the left side, like on the normal uh, Google Nexus layout for example or like this here so what else brightness we got brightness on full settings here let's turn on auto brightness Ooh, this gets dark whoa, 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 whoa. I have to see if I like this or if I wanted to to get more brightness out of this but you can do a lot of stuff on CM here you can uh, adjust sunrise sunset uh, auto brightness adjust and then this is a really nice feature here that you can see how much light current light sensor value and you can all do the stuff settings how much battery brightness you want depending on how bright it is outside or how much light gets onto the uh, the brightness sensor on top so feeling still nice feeling on the device let's unlock it yes and buttons easy to push definitely still a big 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 as big phone uh, I have to really figure it out how this one uh, will fit into my pockets and if I like it or not let's hit the camera here camera remember photo locations yes please auto touch focus let's try to make some pics yes it's fast this is fast we get panorama here yes uh, let's head back. No, not pushing the back button. Uh, what about what about photosphere? No. No photosphere. This can't be. Where's where's photosphere? Hmm. I have to figure this one out. But I'm pretty sure we got photosphere here. What about video size quality? Yes, we got 4K video, 4K UHD and DCI. And we got time lapse, we got slow motion, video codex, general power button. Yes, this is this is really nice, but I'm still missing photosphere here. 
I uh, have to figure this out later. So what else? What about screen reflections? And often people are complaining about the white, a white screen. Uh, uh, not 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 the white screen, but on yellow dots yet that you can see on the screen. No, not really yellow dots. Uh, this can be from the production process from glue that it has not yet vanished. But they uh, that which will which will vanish if you use your phone a couple of hours. Um, no display looks really really nice on the one plus one. So first impression still nice snappy phone fast of course, and we have to figure out how well the battery performance will be and how good the performance of Android and of course CM on the device will be. But this will take me a couple of days and I will figure it out and will be back with the next video. Thank you guys for watching and I see you in the next video. Bye!